In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your ribbon. So if you didn't already know, this is your ribbon up here, all your tools right here. And these are your tabs, your home, insert, antenate, parametric, all that. So first part is the sticky panels. So you see you got these drop-down menus that draw with their array. Say you use array a lot in your projects. So you'll click and drag and put it in your workspace so it'll always be right there. So if you're flying through all these all these panels and tabs, you know, it'll be right there if you want to draw your lines and stuff and you're in a different different tab. So if you want to put it back, no matter where you put it, it'll go back to where it belongs. So if you're in output, you click and drag, click and drag, you'll see it goes back to the home in this correct spot. So now if you want to create a new tab in a new workspace, you can go to Manage, User Interface, and that'll pop up the CUI, or you can just type CUI, and it's the same thing. So, first part, we got to create a new workspace. So you can see we're in the drafting and annotation, so let's make a copy of that. Right-click anywhere, we'll paste it. Now we got to rename it. Call this Camp CAD. So there we go. There's our new custom workspace. Now make sure you see current. That's currently what we're in. So we got to make it set current. So now we're in our custom workspace. So we can add any number of tabs that we want. So we can go custom workspace. Click ribbon. Open it and tabs, open that, you can see all the check marks here, which is what we have. We got annotate, that's checked. Oh, there it is, home, we got it there, so forth. So if we want to add, say, we'll add PDF underlay, check that, we'll hit OK. Then you'll see it pop up right here. So there that is. So we'll go back into the CUI. And we'll go Camp CAD, click Customize Workspace, Ribbon, Tabs, we'll uncheck PDF, make sure it goes away. Yep, there it goes. So we'll open it up again. Click Camp CAD, the Ribbon, say we want to add a customized tab. So what we can do is click Tabs, right click, New Tab. We'll rename it to uh, custom. So there we go. We got that. Now we'll open see panels right here. We got all these tools. So say we want to do annotate text. We'll add that. Then we'll add. Oh, there we go. Say we add dimensions. We'll add that. So now if we click OK should see it pop up. Oh, maybe I didn't add it. Let's check. Camp CAD ribbon. So remember we got a customized workspace which I forgot to do. Tabs. Now we got a check mark. Custom. Click OK. Click on custom. You'll see our dimensions and text is there which is what we wanted. So the next part we can add custom panels. So we'll click on our workspace, go to ribbon, we'll open tabs, and we'll open panels. So we'll right click panels, go new panel, we'll see it pop up, we'll call it custom P. So down here we have every command in AutoCAD at our disposal. There's a lot. <laughs> So if you have you know, certain ones you want, you can come here, say we want three point. Now, this part could be kind of tricky. If you simply click and drag, you'll notice that this window goes all crazy. So if we click and drag, see it goes all kind of, goes pretty weird. So the trick is to click, drag outside the window, drag up, drag back in to row one. So we want to add another one out, up, and then in. 
So maybe we want to add another row to this. So we can right click row one, go new row. You'll see it come up kind of um, under this slide out. So we want to have it nice and tidy so we can click row two, simply drag it up so it'll be directly under row one. Say we'll add, you know, say we'll add an array into row two. So now we've got to add this panel to our tab. So now we'll go custom P. We'll add, we'll kind of scroll up a little bit all the way until we find custom tab. Drop it in there. So now we'll go OK. And we'll go to custom. And there is our custom P panel with the tools that we wanted, our row one, and then our row two. So that's how you customize a ribbon. Any questions or anything, just comment below. And that should be it. Have a good day.